you know, we're just full ag retail store. Uh, for the most part, we deal with, you know, livestock and pet feeds. Uh, we do carry a lot of fencing and gates, and, you know, I even carry up to some small implements and, you know, hay and straw and things like that. Uh, well, I started out, I had, I started raising bottle calves when I was about 10, uh, back whenever there was a few dairies around the state, and I'd done that for a few years, and I saw we moved into cow-calf operation, small cow-calf operation. Whenever I graduated high school, I went to work for a feed store for a few months, and then I left that feed store and went to another feed store, and I worked there all the way through college. And then I graduated and, you know, got a real job. Did that for a few years, and then an opportunity to buy this store come up, and I figured I better take my chance or I'd regret it for the rest of my life. I just got a love for, for doing this, and it's not really so much as, you know, it's kind of a fun job, because you're outside and you get to work around and see new people. But whenever you can help somebody find a new product that more suits their needs and then them come back, you know, the gratification of them, you know, saying that it helped them out, you know, it's a pretty good feeling. In this kind of business, there's not one big thing that, you know, can make it all year. It's real seasonal things. Uh, so in the spring, we do a lot of garden seed and potatoes and things like that. And that'll kind of get us through the spring and kind of into the summer. Uh, and then fall, deer season will hit and feeding deer. And then, especially after the first good frost and the grass starts dying, then, then that's when the kind of the bulk of the feed starts moving when, uh, you know, feeding cattle and horses and things like that. This week is pretty cold and expecting to get colder. So uh, not only are people stocking up on livestock feed, but everybody that's got, you know, some dogs outside or, you know, pigs or something like that, we are, we're, they're getting straw to keep them warm and then, you know, hay just to have on back stock. Like most things in agriculture, it is a small world. So the guys that, you know, run cows and, you know, horses or whatever, out in the community, they know themselves and or know each other, and then this is kind of a common place that they all have to come to at some point or another. So a lot of times, you know, they'll end up here at the same time, and uh, you know, some you know a situation like this that sometimes we might have a dock full of people, and you know, we're not doing anything. You know, it looks like we're full and we're busy, but really, you know, uh, you know, conversations get started, and you know, it could last you know a few minutes up to a few hours. You know, sometimes some people go drink coffee in the mornings at the you know at restaurants or coffee shop or whatever, and this is kind of kind of like that, but livestock wise. I didn't start this store. I, I bought this store from a couple that had been here for uh, around 35, 38 years, something like that, uh, and they had built a good reputation around here and, and in town, uh, and they had a great customer base. And uh, you know, knock on wood, thankfully a lot of those folks give me a chance and they've been still coming in. If we don't have something, we can get it. If we can't beat somebody else on, you know, price or, you know, convenience, you know, I try to beat them on customer service, you know, if nothing else.